Hello my friends and viewers, today we are going to review a new ground attack uh, plane, uh, the Su-25 Frostfoot, which is uh, the best word to describe this plane, is uh, a 10 but better, because uh, it is much lighter than a 10, while uh, and despite having uh, less powerful engines, it can uh, accelerate to the speeds about 900 km per hour. Actually, in horizontal flight, you can uh, re almost reach the flutter speed uh, or the wing grip speed in uh, horizontal flight. So one must be a bit careful. The top speed on uh, the altitude of one kilometer is uh, 978 kilometers per hour. However, the best thing about this plane is not just uh, the fact that it uh, uh, flies much better, better than A10, but also the fact that it has much more divers dive and uh, better loadout. E you can carry up to two R60 MK or uh, R60 MK uh, air-to-air uh, air missiles, which uh, are all uh, spec uh, heat seekers, uh, which are much more maneuverable than IM-9Ls, uh, which are used on A10. And you can also carry, uh, choose between uh, very diverse loadouts of uh, anti-tank uh, air-to-surface uh, weaponry, including big uh, unguided rockets, uh, uh, bombs, uh, you can carry up to eight uh, half-ton bombs or up to eight uh, 500 uh, kilogram bombs uh, and uh, you you also can uh, carry uh, ASA for uh, H25 ml uh, laser guided rockets or two bigger H29 laser guided rockets That being said, uh, if you are going to after enemy tanks, uh, I recommend using uh, the smaller H25 uh, uh, ml rockets. Uh, and uh, however, if you are going to face uh, uh, bigger targets such as uh, uh, AE uh, artificial intelligence controlled ships uh, uh, in ARB. I recommend using H-28 uh, uh, missiles. I will probably show you these missiles now. Basically, uh, despite having the same battle rating of 9.7, it's much better than A10. It can uh, actually put up a fight uh, against uh, enemy fighters, especially given that uh, Air 60 MK missiles are much better than IM 9L. On uh, and the only downside that they have. Uh, is uh, the range which is a bit smaller than uh, side windows uh, range. Here you can see the H-29 missiles, which uh, have uh, one hand almost 150 kilograms uh, worth of TNT in them 
which is 50 kilograms more than uh, almost 50 kilograms more than uh, than uh, a 25 ml missile. Another good thing is that uh, in, in aiming mode, uh, your uh, si uh, your laser sight uh, for rockets uh, uh, tells you whether you are in range uh, uh, in range of your missiles, whether the target is uh, close enough for you to hit it. Car 29 missiles. Uh, can uh, hit targets from up to 8 kilometers while uh, H 25 ml missiles uh, can uh, hit uh, the targets uh, from up to 10 kilometers. As you can see, enemy sh uh, ship got destroyed. Oh. Oh no. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and please support Ukraine in whatever way you can. Slava Ukraini, and see you later. It's prob probably not the last video I'm going uh, to record about Su-25 uh, and its premium version Su-25K uh, and uh, right after this video I'm going, uh, well, uh, I'm going to use uh, video editor Pinnacle Studio and uh, you can, I will show you uh, another case of using uh, H-29 missiles on uh, the uh, Krik, uh, Krimsk uh, map uh, but uh, of another variant of this map uh, where you can destroy enemy cargo ships uh, in, uh, you, you will see how I destroyed two cargo ships with H-29 missiles Thank you for watching and see you later.